Hi guys, had a couple of questions about this solar wind chime light that I sort of renovated. Uh, a couple of questions about the circuit inside, because I didn't actually take it apart. I replaced the um, battery terminals inside, I think, or certainly replaced the battery and cleaned clean the solar panels. That one doesn't look too bad. That one we can clearly see has got something going on inside that's not going to help it. Anyway, just to answer the questions, I'll take it apart and we'll have a look inside. Right, don't scream if we find any spiders in there. So I cleaned out a load of spiders' eggs from the battery compartment. Right then. I'm just feeling with my finger on the back here. That solar panel's completely loose. Oh, I think I put a bit of hot glue on there to put it back in place. So obviously didn't put enough on there. The only thing I'm not keen about doing this is it's quite likely the wires will fall off inside because it's all a bit corroded and old wires just have a habit of falling apart when you take them out. Are we ready? Don't scream. Uh, oh. Right, that's the bit we want to look at, the circuit board. Oh, and the other question was, were the solar panels in series? They are, yes. We can see green wire goes up to one panel, red wire comes from that panel to that panel, and then red wire from that panel goes to the circuit board. So yes, they are in series. That answers one question. Can I get in there and get some of these? Creepy crawlies out. hoping they're all dead, but there's no particular reason for them to be dead. See a bit easier now. To do that. <laughs> Nanny's cooking tea in the background.
Ну, уже новый фон. Открываем. Right, so enough of that. The next question was circuit board, does it have a capacitor on it? And uh, well, yeah, it's got a tiny one there, a little um, one of those, what do they call them? Can't remember, little flat one, little flat one, diode, inductor and then that chip that does all the control. So, not a lot going on there that we haven't seen already. Uh, that circuit there, I did that one to demonstrate for somebody, uh, Batty Betty, oh she changed her name. That chip is the one that does all the control, lights the LED, and it uses that inductor to generate the voltage. So, yeah, capacitor, there's no electrolytic capacitor there. We have got a little, I can't think what they're called now. Just that little one there. 104 is that 10 picofarads or something I can't remember and we've destroyed a few spiders nests so we'll put it all back together now this uh, worked after I changed the battery and cleaned the solar panels Worked very well indoors in the conservatory here. Put it outdoors on the edge of my uh, garage and it just doesn't get the sunlight there. So although it does light up at night, it's only for a matter of minutes. So I brought it back indoors here, hoping that it gets better sunlight in the conservatory here. And we'll see how it gets on tonight, hopefully, because we've well, it started off cloudy today, but by uh, by midday it actually got nice and sunny. So hopefully this thing will light up. Uh, there we go, I'm just putting my fingers over the panels. So there's some stored voltage in there. Right, I'll put that back together. Thanks for watching. If you want more information, check down below in the video description. If you like this video, you might like this one up here. And if you want to subscribe, you can check out my channel over here. Up here is my latest video on my channel. And down here is a video playlist associated with the video you've just watched. Thanks again for watching.